every character sort of has moves that dictate how they play in Smash. I think part of making an appealing character is making sure that all their move set sort of flows together. And yet, there are always those moves that end up being over-centralizing. I'm talking about moves that are too good. So, what makes a move too good? Good hitboxes and frame data and attributes, of course. This is the nerdiest part of this video, so I'll make it quick. Good data is really important. I don't want to get too in depth about what frame data and attributes mean in Smash, as I'm sure other videos do that. If you don't know what they mean, just check it out. Check it out on wiki or something. Removing all the nuance, you know, fast moves are good, big moves are good, high damage moves are good, 90 degree knockback angles, angles that set up for combos, they're, they're really good angles that set up for edge guards um yeah it just kind of goes on like that i guess there is stuff that you can just glance at it and realize oh yeah it's it's kind of crazy like look at this hitbox like jesus and, and then there's data that you kind of need to dig for you might not just be able to see the move and and see that it's really good what do you mean this move has extreme disjoint hella range and almost no end lag that's some bullshit that's some bull. The frame data gods giveth and taketh, and while some characters need good frame data to have their kit linked together, some moves will just lift mountains for a character. Like, they will just be so good in relation to their other moves, it's crazy. Bayonetta up B in, in Smash 4 was one of the most heinous things imaginable. Not only is it an up B out of shield, you know, which makes it pretty fast, you have it lead to all of her combo tree. So, essentially, you have an up B out of shield that leads to death, which <laughs> most people would consider really, really strong. Understanding the attributes of a move is pretty important, and it's how mods like Project M and more recently Beyond Melee M <laughs> were able to make decisions on what moves to buff and, and nerf. Spammable. Almost every move that is too good is just useful all the time. When I think of Brawl Meta Knight Tornado, it was wild how much use that move got. It's a massive hitbox that was a recovery tool, neutral tool, locked you down for a few seconds, it pressured shield, it juggled, it did like 20 damage. Of course, the Meta Knight lobby would have you <laughs> believe that it wasn't that strong, but it's it pretty strong. Melee Jigglypuff Bear is a good example of a spammable move too. I mean, it's giant jigglypuff zoning is almost defined by this move in melee and you can watch an old hbox set to really get an idea of of how busted it used to be game and watch smashes in almost every smash game have had very little end lag while they're definitely the least powerful in pm and melee they're still pretty strong in those games and then in brawl you have the beginning of what i like to call the game and watch will spam smash attacks in place because they don't have any end lag meta That, that was, yeah, good game design. Some moves have utility to the point where they can be good in an above average amount of situations. When I think of Fox Up Smash, for example, I think, dang, that's a strong kill move. But then I remember it's also a combo starter, a shield option, anti-air, you know, you could get the backflip and do an edge guard or something. It's just very, very good. Sheik F Tilt is another one of those options. It's an amazing hitbox, great anti-approach tool that confirms into our standard combos and will lead into a kill at, at later percents. Falcon Knee is an incredibly powerful aerial that combos into itself and also itself. <laughs> it's safe on shield, it combos, it kills, it edge guards, and it makes the entire crowd just cheer against you, so that, I mean, that part's not in the in the move data, but you, you get my point with, with that one. Yet it's hard to think about any of the characters I've listed without these tools that fundamentally define how they're played. So how do we change them without changing the character and make everybody who plays them absurdly angry? Let's say you look at a move like Luigi Down Tilt in Melee, which is pretty much uh, useless. You could give it more damage, have it come out quicker, make it larger, tweak its knockback numbers. It's pretty important, and honestly, I'm not the, the best at, at tweaking and understanding them even to this day, but I do think those values are important for understanding all moves, good and bad. And then in Smash 4, they kind of changed how it worked. You just kind of make it not as useful in every situation. I think it's still useful in like edge guards and it can be used to finish off in combos, but it's not like the multi-hit menace attack it was uh, before. There's an argument to be made that the more uses a move 
has, the more counterplay develops. When I think of Tornado, for example, I think of all the different Meta Knight counterplay that developed to beat it. Stuff like tilting your shield and even crouching to beat Tornado. When I think of Jigglypuff Bear, while I think about how Hungry Bucks defined the meta for years with this move, I remember how hard top players had to work against Jigglypuff and how hard they had to work to get over it and understand that move and the mix-ups associated with it. When I think about a move like Laser or Shine, there's no argument that these moves are really, really strong. But as stated in my projectile video, the fact that they're so strong led to a lot of counterplay against them being developed, and I think a lot of that counterplay ends up being healthy for the state of the game. It's very fast-paced. There's also characters that kind of need good moves, you know? Shoutouts to Wrangler and his Donkey Kong in Melee, but uh, man oh man, does Donkey Kong really benefit from upbeat in Melee. Without that amazing tool among his pretty average kit, I feel like he would really, really struggle against most of the cast. More than he already does. I mean, it's, it's Donkey Kong in Melee. But don't get it twisted and give him a shit ton of other good stuff. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't, please. <laughs> and there's moves that while they are amazing, we as a community have recognized that they are healthy. I think a healthy move can often manifest in something that's fun to use, it isn't over-centralized, and the counterplay ends up being in line with how the meta develops and how you want the game to look. Very few people would say that Game & Watch spamming smash attacks is healthy gameplay, and there's counterplay to it. I'm not gonna just sit here and say there's no counterplay, because there's, there's counterplay to most of these techniques. However, would we say the same thing about something like Sonic Spin Dash? Oh god. No, wait, yeah, that, that's a bad example. Yes. Um, would we say the same thing about something like Falcon Knee or Fox Up Smash or Shine Pressure? Probably not, because we as a community have recognized that, oh, these moves are fine. Or, or some people have. I would say the majority <laughs> have, and there's some people that still don't accept those moves. All this is to say is maybe I think about this game too much, and yet I still don't know that much. As said before, there's always going to be high tiers and low tiers and moves that end up being too good. We know what makes a move too hot, we know what makes a move too cold, but what makes a move just right? I think that's going to vary heavily depending on the person and what your criteria are for evaluating a move. Even with my level of experience, I don't think I can separate my bias from evaluating moves. I enjoy healthy variation in moveset, and I really like a lot of the character design in Smash. Let me know what you think about moves down below. I want a healthy discussion, but to top it all off, uh, all the moves I like are fine and your favorites are awful. Okay. It's been a while since one of these, these rant style videos, huh? I, th I think these will come out here and there amongst all our memes and video essays. It's fun to just like have thoughts about Smash and just share them without, you know, editing them endlessly as we do in the, the essay community. Please sub and whatnot. And patrons and uh we cut the video here see yeah or 